Well, hello there, guys. Great. The beginning of a new year, a new start. And I'm raring for it. And I hope you guys are too. Now I'm gonna tell you a story. Actually, it's a true story. And it happened when I was in Thailand, when I lived there for 10 years. Oh, no, not a story from Thailand again. Well, they haven't heard this one. Oh, I bet they have. Hey, I forgot to tell you my New Year's resolution. Oh, yeah? You got one? I didn't know you did those sort of things. Oh, yeah, I got one. I'm going to get rid of you. That's my New Year's resolution. Well, I'm not worried. <laughs> You've never kept your resolutions up to now. Anyway, look, do what you do best and just shut up and sit there. So anyway, I was living in Thailand, but I, I saw Bangkok, you know, it's a bit in your face, some Bangkok places, like Sua Cowboy, Nana Plaza. Man, of course, there's Patea, of course, which you've got to see if you go there. <laughs> I kind of stayed there a little bit long, actually. Well, why is that then? Well, it was just great scenery, you know, the, the sea and all, <laughs> you know, the beaches, something like that. But anyway, I ended up in Chiang Mai for most of the time, actually. Which it's very nice up there, very sort of laid back. Now you got bars up there as well, but they're not all swinging off poles or something, or dressed in, you know, revealing clothes. It's a bit more sort of subtle. But anyway, one night I went out and got a beer in a bar, and I was looking around, as you do, and there was these Thai femons congregated around this sort of couch area. And some of them looked okay, and they were dressed quite nicely. And of course, they were obviously working there. But there was one Thai femon that was sitting in the middle of the couch, with a very short dress on, and her legs spread wide open, with light-coloured underwear. So this Thai femon had no real subtlety at all about her, even though she was up in Chiang Mai. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised she had underwear on at all. But it was pretty obvious what she was trying to do. And you think to yourself, my God, could you just make some form of effort? Instead of just getting it right out and putting it on the table sort of thing. And of course there was other men in the bar as well and other men walking by. Anyway, I kind of finished my sort of drink and went to a couple of other bars. I generally wasn't looking for a femme on that night. Then quite later on in the evening I ended back up at that bar. It just happened to be on the way home, that's all. And I noticed a lot of the girls around the couch had disappeared. Obviously been taken. But the one with the legs spread open on the couch was still there. Because I guess a lot of men also like a little bit of effort. Instead of just saying, here it is, do you want it? Well that seems to be the problem today, doesn't it? Femons are so crash. They're not making any real effort to be seductive in any way. They're even lazy in that sort of endeavour. But anyway, something more up to date. As you know, Femons are professional scammers and deceivers. But they're professionals at something else as well. They're professional hijackers, if you've noticed. They hijack any story or any person that's in a personality place and hijack it and put their face in. It's happening all the time on the news, on the papers. You think you're going to be looking at some good football player, but no, it's about this Femon. The football player was just the draw-in, the clickbait. Really getting annoying when you click on something you think you're going to be interested in and all it is is a Femon. Hey, you really going to get rid of me then? Uh, don't worry, buddy. You'll be as round as long as I am. Yeah, well, thanks. You know that bird that was on the couch in, say, Chiang Mai, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I would have banged it. <laughs> yeah, I know you would have done. You probably would have done it right on the couch, I expect. No, I wouldn't. I was taking her down the beach, wouldn't I? There is no beach in Chiang Mai, you dummy. Well, don't about you getting rid of me, I might want to get rid of you. Yeah, like that's going to happen. And also, anyway, I'm surprised that some famons nowadays, especially the modern ones, don't just go out on the streets, take their knickers off, lay down on the street with their legs spread, and this is how much effort they just want to put into it. And even if nobody really wants her, if it's a reasonably busy street, somebody might fall over and accidentally go in anyway. Probably head first. Anyway, for me, I like a bit of seduction, a bit of class. Not letting it all hang out sort of thing. At least not straight away. You take it easy, fellas. What was the name of that bar that girl was in in Thailand then? In Chiang Dai. I don't remember anyway. That Thai Femon is probably dead and gone by now. Now here, here's 20 quid. Go down and give me a case of fucking beer, will you? All right, usual? Yeah, give me Moretti this time. You gonna give me a couple as usual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now bugger off. 
Hey, what color knickers was that tie birds on the couch thing? What? Go get that beer now. Jesus. What?